What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Scar from The Lion King. Now for today's lesson, we'll be sketching on top of plain white sketch paper and using a black 4B pencil. Let's use a side grip and sketch a circle in the center of our page. We're we'll start from the very top. We're just gonna work in the left side. Just lightly going all the way around and then in towards the bottom of our circle and then we'll work in the right side. Now from here we're going to add some guidelines around our circle. Let's start by sketching a line coming straight down the center, starting from the very top. I'm just going to sketch this line coming all the way down towards the bottom of our page. And then we'll extend it up towards the top. Now let's add another guideline on the side of our circle. Let's start with the left. Coming down towards the bottom. And then pull that back up. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna create a box around our circle. Starting from the very top, we're gonna to draw a line going out toward the left, and then the right. And we'll do the same thing along the bottom. Now we're gonna add one more going across the center. So we'll start on the left, going out, then all the way over towards the right. Now we're gonna add two more guidelines on the outside of that center line. So from the center, let's move over towards the left. So right about here, so we go all the way up towards the top and then extend that down towards the bottom. Now we're gonna take that same distance over on the right and do the same thing. Now that we have all our guidelines in place, let's start blocking out the facial features. We're gonna start with the eyes. Starting from this point, we're just gonna curve the eye going up and then bend that out towards the side and do the same thing over on the right. And then from the outside, we're just gonna curve this down towards that center line and then in. Now the nose is gonna sit along the bottom of our circle. So starting in the center, let's start by curving this up and then out, just on the inside of that line. And then from here, angle up and out with a straight line. Let's connect the outside of that curve with a straight line going across. Now from here, we're gonna draw on the bottom edge of the muzzle. Starting right in the center, it's gonna start with the left side curving down now I'm just gonna bend that back up on the left side towards the bottom edge of our circle. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now from the outside of the muzzle, we're just gonna curve this up and then bend that out. Let's connect the bottom curve of the muzzle with a straight line going across. Now you want to place the chin in underneath the muzzle. On the left side, we're going to step out. Just going to curve this down and then bend that in towards that center line. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move back up to the top and draw in the ears. Let's line up at the center of the eye all the way up towards the top of our circle. Just going to curve this up and then bend that out towards the line on the side. Line up the right and do the same thing. Let's round out the top of the ear, just curving out and then down toward the top line. And I'll bend the ear coming down and then in towards the side of the head. Now you want to block in the fur around the side of the head. So starting underneath the ear on the left, curve this down and then out toward that center line. And then from here, we're just gonna curve this down and then bend that in towards this point. Now from here, we're just gonna curve this down and then bend that in towards the center, just underneath the chin. Let's go up to the top point of the ear. We're just gonna curve the head going up and then bend that in towards the center.
Let's go to the top of the line on the left, curve this in, and then pull that down towards the middle in between the eyes. Go up and out towards the right. And then finally, we're gonna add a scar going across the right eye. Along this line, step up, curve this across, down the eye, towards the bottom. Now that we have the basic building blocks of our drawing, we're gonna go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Starting with the ones on the outside. Now we're gonna go back and add a second level of detail. Let's round out the side of the muzzle, starting on the left. Just gonna curve this out, and then bend that in towards that line, and do the same thing on the right. Let's round up the inside of the ear, starting on the left, come down, and then in towards the top of the head. Let's flatten off the side of the head underneath the ears, starting from the top, just going to curve this out, and then down towards that center line. Now once we're happy with the general proportions of our drawing, we're going to go back in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details. Let's start with the left eye. Starting from the inside, it's going to curve our way up towards the top of the eyelid. And then bending this out towards the side. Add a small half circle on the top. And it will darken up the outside of the eye, working our way around the iris. Let's add in a pupil. And then we'll just add a shade along the inside of the iris. Just adding a little bit of shading underneath the eyes. And we'll add some shadows along the inside. Now we're gonna move down and start adding some detail to the nose. Starting with the nostrils. And then using these short lines with the side edge of our pencil, we're just gonna add some texture inside the nose. Just working our way up.
and then from the nose coming down towards the mouth. Now just adding that fur texture underneath the chin, and all the way down. And then adding that texture across the cheeks, working our way up towards the eye. And now we're going to go back and darken up that scar around the eye and add in a little bit more detail. Now we're going to move to the tip of our pencil and add a little bit more texture to the inside of the fur. Starting from the nose, and just working our way up with these short lines. Now we're gonna add that fur around the outer edge of the cheeks, just pulling this in towards the eye. And adding a light shade to the muzzle. And then adding some stripes across the base of the whiskers.
And I'm just gonna add a dark shadow around the side of the head. Working the fur out. So along that cheek line, I'm just gonna pull this out using the side edge of our pencil. And just work our way around the muzzle. Now the fur is going to get a little bit lighter as we move out. So again, just using the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to work with the flow of the fur. And then on the chin, we're just gonna work our way up with the tip of our pencil and add some texture. Just adding a little bit more shape to the mane with some curves. Now we're just working our way up towards the top of the head with these short lines. And then again, just using the tip of our pencil to add some more texture. From here, we're just adding a little bit more shape to the ears. I'm gonna add a cut on the left side. Just a little notch. And then refining the shape as we come back in. I'm just gonna add a light shade to the ears.
and it will darken up the inside of the ear, leaving a highlight around the outside. Now we're just going to continue up towards the top of the head, starting with the center. Just adding this fur texture going up towards the top point. And as we get near the end, I'm going to tighten up my shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Scar from The Lion King. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also check out more of our sketch tutorials in our sketch playlist. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.